All right, everyone, welcome. It is Zojo Wars time. I am Paul Lefevre, the Zojo Developer Evangelist, and this week is our Zojo Wars Community Contest Battle. And we're going to have a bit of fun here. This will be a fairly short webinar because we're just going to run Zojo Wars, see who the winners are, and uh, and go from there. I encourage those of you who are attending, who if you have a ship in the battle, feel free to, you know, chat about your ship and how you uh, some techniques you may have used to implement it. I'll try and repeat some of the things uh, as the battle is going on to uh, give people something to listen to besides watching ships fly around. So feel free to do that if you want. Uh, as you can see here, looking at the game board, there are 15 ships in the battle. And the very last ship is called Follower. That is my sample ship that is included with Sojo Wars. And you don't want to be losing to follower. That, that's a mark of shame. So the idea is to at least beat follower, right? Because that, that was a very simple ship that didn't have much in the way of logic with it. So there's, a, there's 15 ships. We're going to run. Each, each ship is going to fight 10 different times. And each battle is going to be 30 seconds long. And I think that will come out to about 15 minutes or so. Uh, of a battle here with ships flying around and shooting at each other. And just to reiterate here, I have the, if I can find the right page, the page here. Uh, the winner gets, of course, fame, glory, soldier swag, Raspberry Pi, copy of Smart Packer Pro, and $500. Second and third place will also get Smart Packer Pro. And the Smart Packer Pro folks have said they'll send along discounts to anyone who participated in the contest as well. All right, so who's ready to start Zojo Wars? I like that I'm not at a conference, so I don't really know who gets to answer my questions. But without further ado, let's start the battle. <laughs> After the first battle, we have Lucas Cowher jumping in the lead. And now tied with Mike Patron. Three folks bunched at the top. Jeremy Cowger with nine. Cowger with seven. And Mike Patron with seven. Thank <laughs> you. 
still pretty close there at the top. Lots of teams with positive totals. Still a lot more battles to go. stuck in the corner, but he got hit and that uh, zoomed him out. So that's funny. Jeremy Cowger jumps ahead with a pretty good lead after two games played. It's like watching the ship do a little dance to death when they get near each other as they circle around trying to see if they can get the first shot in. Or has jumped him. That's not right. The follower wins, you guys. Keep their money.
Andres is noting that his ship, that is ship number 12, has uh, worked good in the first battle, but uh, has been having some trouble in other cases. Code might have gone awry. It's hard to predict, though. You never know who your ship's going to battle. You don't know what the layout of the wormholes are going to be, your initial starting position. All of that could probably have some effect with how the battle's going to go. Jeremy's ship seems to have taken a pretty commanding lead after five games played for most everybody. And with Follower jumping up in the place, that, that's looking good for everybody else. Edwin is asking if we're going to make the code for this ship available. And yeah, I think we are. I think I'll be able to get those into the GitHub project once all this stuff is kind of done. Watching the tournament, regrettably, he regrets now that he did. Yeah, it's fun. Apparently, you could have just you know, added a few lines of code to follow it instead of that. As I mentioned in some of the tweets and posts in the earlier uh, webinar about this, there is some uh, amount of block involved, of course. That's probably why followers rather high this time. And my sample tests of people's code and whatnot, running thing, follower never finished up this high, so apparently he's happy to go. Edwin is noting my mic audio is low compared to the battle, so it's a bit of a gain on that boost up my mic audio. And unfortunately, uh, the audio of the game just gets recorded at this point.
Here in the home stretch now will be a couple more games. <laughs> We've reached the championship battle with how four teams are playing. Whoever wins this battle is our winner, regardless of your total leaderboard score. And we have our winner. Here is Jonathan Gourmet. All right.
And what do we have for second place? I got to scan the list here. So Jonathan had a score of three in the championship battle. And then Lucas was second place. And Diego was third place. And Tony says at least he beat Follower. Where did Follower end up? Let's see. Follower ended up with a score of minus one in seventh place. And all the way, so we have scores ranging from 78 for Jeremy's ship all the way down to negative 70 for Kem's ship. Uh, I bet Kem intentionally made his ship uh, so that it would uh, take the hits, take, take hits for the teams. All right, well, expect emails for the winners, regardless of whether or not you were here. Uh, the recording of this will be on YouTube in the next day or so for people to watch over and over again in their amusement. And uh, as Edwin had asked earlier, I'll see about getting uh, the source for all the ships up uh, along with into the uh, the GitHub project that already contains the Zoja Wars game itself. So I want to take a moment to thank all our participants. And I hope you had fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun making this game. Uh, we'll see what we do uh, next year. I certainly am welcoming suggestions. So if you have ideas for something that might make a fun little contest for Zojo developers, by all means, you guys know how to reach me, paul at zojo.com. And I think that's it. So thanks, everyone, for coming to the Zojo Wars battle. Thanks to everyone who played and all our viewers as well. Have a great day, everyone.